Yo, what's up, crazies? This is my season two predictions. We're gonna go through it and uh, see what possibly could happen in season two. We got Multiverse season two. Scoop, get the scoop at Monday. Uh, I mean, Monday already happened, but next Monday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we're gonna get more news in there, but what could it be? What could it be? So Ajax, one of the community managers, has posted four gifts as hints of what's to come in multiverses. This one, I think it's Dexter. We saw glasses on the trailer, so he's probably going to be coming sooner or later. But with the math, he's obviously like the only one who would be thinking math. Zoinks, uh, we saw Scooby-Doo in the mystery machine on the uh, NHL hockey collaboration. So it could be Scooby-Doo of some sort. Arya. Hmm, they could be indicating another Game of Thrones character. I don't know. Maybe Jon Snow. I don't remember the scene in the movie or the TV show, so I'm not sure who she's standing next to. Yeah, it could be the Hound or something or Jon Snow or Daenerys, but she never meets her. So and then you got an Adventure Time one, which I feel like the only other one that people want is Marceline. But at the same time, it couldn't be, maybe it's not even related at all because this could be Aquaman because they're riding a dolphin. Oh, we also got news that like Ajax at the Discord thing said, oh, we really we really are happy with uh, how we did on Samurai Jack. He's like, oh, wait, no, wait, uh, Agent Smith. So Samurai Jack is coming as well, but none of these indicate that. Or maybe Arya is saying indicating that because she's a swordsman as well. I don't think um, Powerpuff Girls will be there. I do not think Powerpuff Girls will be there. An original character would be fantastic, Maki. I agree. One of the adding Johnny Sins, never. So not really a season two prediction, in my opinion, but you see in the background, he's right next to Superman, the Black Lantern Superman. You already got Taz, Stripe. That looks like Jason or something. Uh, Bugs Bunny. They have a lot of characters that are already in the game, except Pennywise is hiding back there. And I'm pretty sure later on, they do like an outfit change. Yeah, you see the hammer after Later on, you don't see him on the right behind the hammer anymore. So probably Pennywise coming in the future. Not gonna lie, that'd be freaking awesome though. What would I like for season two to happen? I would like uh, hitbox changes. I would like obviously a character balancing still. Uh, the new characters. I want riffs to be better. All these riffs to be better. I want events that are actually events that require me to play different game modes that are specific to that event, not just glorified it. Choreless, as I've said, about pass. Make the rifts to where it feels like I'm playing a 1v1 or 2v2, you know, like where I can use my skill that I've learned in those game modes that you offer into the rifts, you know, with exceptions of the bosses at the end. Those should be kind of unique and different. That's fine. The, di the difficulties don't need to be to where like the guys are like so like take zero damage and are insanely more difficult make it so that way i only have one life to complete the entire rift and i get a, re a really nice reward that's another thing reward incentives a lot more for skins banners and profile icons and ring outs and stuff like that for me playing these hard difficult modes i can only get to level 16 mastery by the way unlock that with the incentive of the skins and stuff, make this actually rewarding to keep leveling up. I don't know why you max that out. I want to have lots of stuff earned for my Superman character. I want to be rewarded for playing. That's something I would want as well. Obviously, I'd want ranked mode. And probably last thing I'd want is more game modes. Like I want the jump rope, oh not the jump rope specifically, but like the target mode, the golfing that they add in this previous or this recent rift. I, w I would love to see free for all in ranked as well. I would love to see uh, 3v3 would be my favorite mode that it's not all at once, but one at a time. So you tag team. I want to see that ranked mode. Like make things ranked mode just because and then make the leaderboards and uh, rewards for that as well. I want to see way more rewards. And that it probably gives the gist of what I would want to see in multiverses when it comes out. Now, what do I think is going to be out? I think Samurai Jack will either be... I think Samurai Jack will be in the Battle Pass. And I think Aquaman will be an event. I'd be very surprised if there was more than two characters released uh, next season. Maybe they have more content. Maybe they're ready, more ready for that. And there could be, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna predict that. The event like this, it might, they might uh, change it and make it better. 
but I think Aquaman will be in the the Rift and Samurai Jack will be in the Battle Pass. Also, speaking of Battle Pass, make the Infinite tier way better. It's really boring right now. They did tease skins. So if you guys haven't seen, they did add skins or tease new skins as well. This is uh, the Superman. It seems like they're going like a cyberpunk type thing. So we are going to be getting more variety of skins. Like this is what we're seeing. This is uh, we're already getting more skins. So I think there's going to be some skins like this that are going to be earnable. And I think they're going to be also paid for kind of a both and the battle pass as well. Uh, we got Garnett. I think there's a Taz one as well. There might be fit like they didn't tease everything. They didn't show everything my time. So there's a lot of skins like this. All that I all that we can get from this is that there's going to be way more variety and a lot more. So I'm hoping that or transfers over into other content as well. Uh, my prediction as well for season two. I think there will be some balance changes. I don't think it's going to be really significant. I don't think it'll be like enough to be, oh, finally, it's going to be something to get excited about. Hopefully they'll fix Superman, things like that. You know, polish it up a little more. They're, I'm sure their focus is getting the content out though. Uh, but I do think that Ranked will come out. I'm going to predict that Ranked comes out day one along with their like slightly balanced season patch. And I think there will be a reward for it. I feel like they have to realize that it needs to be done. So I think that's a, that's literally my prediction, my realistic prediction for what's going to come. I don't want to get my hopes up for anything. There's a lot more that I would like, as I said before, but I think that's the realistic thing that we can expect. Now, when it comes to stages, we also have that information as well. So they did tease this map. We get, we'll get a new map as well. So here's the map. And when you hit the uh, Warner Brothers logo, like stuff will pop out. Uh, they might not pop out, but you'll like see random things inside. <laughs> There's just Superman dancing. So I think this map is confirmed to be in season two. And also there's more stuff to where if you died, there would be balloons that were spawning. Yeah, so there's like balloons that will spawn and like float down so you can use those to your advantage as well. Seems like a decent map. I like the background. I think it looks good. But yeah, that's my honestly my prediction for the start of season is like only one map. I'm not going to lie. I think we'll get more maps in the future during the season, like maybe one or two. But yeah, everything else I said, including that map, I think that's the realistic expectation. There's a cool like wave. That banana skin looks freaking dope. And the Warwin and Joker and Smith. The really, I mean, I can already see the high, the higher quality of skins. So I hope that means they're picking up their pace and making it better. So those are really good skins as well. Here we got the Cyber. Oh man, that looks good. I'm glad. I mean, Superman always gets a lot of love with skins. I think that looks really cool. I hope he has a little more sound effects. But those are really good skins. I'm excited for though. For those ones for sure all right one last thing crazies uh if you played in the rift mode the cinematic this is the end for you you think i came by myself doc that line right there indicates that neo is coming to the game because obviously that's the scene iconic if you've seen the matrix like there's no other option who could that who that could be I mean, it could be like Trinity and Morpheus or whatever, but like, that's got to be Neo. I think that's Neo 100% coming to Multiverses. I mean, if they do Agent Smith, they have to do, to do Neo. There's no way. Oh, dude, if they got Keanu to voice Neo, I feel like they should just get permission to use the voice lines from the movie. That would sound the best. All right, crazy. Those are my predictions. Those are what I realistically think is going to happen. And also the things that I want to happen. So let me know what your thoughts down below for season two what do you want or what do you think we're gonna get i'd love to hear them because uh i'm really excited for what they come up with and i hope we don't just get the mo bare minimum update i hope we get something with that with that crazies i love you very much and we'll say good night and goodbye goodbye crazies goodbye crazies i love you crazies come on